I think Brock's mom's a little bit jealous about me marrying her son because she thinks that I'm taking over Brock's whole entire life. I'm not worried about it. She'll be dead and long gone soon enough. Whatever you have to do, it just has to look perfect. Nothing's gonna be perfect, baby. This wedding is going to be perfect. No, it's not. She'll learn that we're just as good as she. She's not better than anybody else. Sometimes she tries to act like she is, but she'll learn she's not. Not anytime soon, however. We're gonna have barbecue for the rehearsal dinner. I don't want barbecue. I'm paying for the rehearsal dinner. You don't get to choose what I buy. It's my rehearsal dinner. I should get okay, to choose. Well, I'm still paying for it. So? Unless you want to pay for it. You I mean, you're more than welcome to. I hate barbecue. I hate it with a passion, and she knows that. Are you trying to be a monster-in-law to me? No, you've just been a... A what? You don't want to start this with me, Lisa. This close to the wedding? My property, my house. My wedding, my property. My son. So? I'm about to marry your so? son. He ain't gonna be your son no more. He's gonna be my husband. Oh, yes, honey. Hey, Brock, feel free to intervene at any time. That one can be a brat, but not to me, so don't bother me. I'll be his mother forever. And I'll be his wife forever. Probably not. Lisa always likes to have an attitude with me, especially when she thinks I'm being a bitch. She likes to step in and be a bigger bitch. Well, you know what? There's only one room for one big bitch in this place, and it's me.